Hey guys, welcome to another video guide. This time I'm playing Zin Zhao. Uh, I started a little bit earlier this time, but not uh, not to the point where I needed to. Oh well. So this time I'm playing Zin Zhao into a Graves. Um, I was last pick, so it was kind of nice to be able to see like what their team comp was doing versus ours. Um, so far, looking at our team comp, I see that we have a Renekton, Tal, and Twitch, which is really like. These two are really bursty, and then we have like a tanky fighter, but we realistically like, we have no AP, so we gotta end this game quick, otherwise like late game we're gonna be having an issue, maybe. Um, we also don't have any like hard hard engage besides like Rakan, but that's more of a soft engage in my opinion. So Zen Zhao was kinda like the medium, where I could still be like a front line and a hard engage, like medium engage as well. So looking at like what teams are, are looking like, I see that we have a Yasuo... And I really on the enemy team that are running Conqueror, which is really annoying. Really OP rune, by the way. Um, and Graves is running Dark Harvest. So, I don't know if I said it in my other videos, but every time I see a Dark Harvest champion on the enemy team, I think that the more counter jungling that I do, the better, because that means they don't get as many souls as fast, and that means that like they don't get to that 150 point where they can just hold the stack for like 3 minutes or whatever it is. So it's also important to know that they have a Thresh on their team, which means that they might invade us early on, so we gotta also take note of that. I also, looking at our Rakan, I see he's running Summon Area. I don't know if that was a mistake or not, so that's kind of a red flag for me. Uh, these are my items that I usually build, um, that I consider core items on Zin Zhao. I don't necessarily build Titanic Hydra, third item, fourth item, but uh, it's just there for situational. Alright, Twitch, I see you. Not a big deal, though. Who needs it? We're, uh... We're Gucci. So, I'm sitting right here just to watch for the invade. That way I can still juke if I need to. When I play Zin Zhao, I like to start with my bot side. I go red, wolves, blue, uh, scuttle, and then, like, I'll look to either invade or, you know, try to get a gank off. Irelia and Yasuru are both somewhat easy to gank in my opinion, I feel like. Uh, Irelia is a little bit more difficult, though, because she has her, after, especially after she's been reworked, she has her stun. Um, Talon doesn't ha offer any CC, so ganking Yasuru is realistically all on me. But we'll see how this goes. I know Graves has a pretty decent clear, I guess. So, I'm pretty sure I could still catch him at his red if I tried to do, like, red, wolves, blue, and invade. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing, so. Anyways, when I start in my jungle, I like to take E. Um, get you more attack speed early on in your cl uh, clear, and it gets you your passive, so it gives you stronger clear. So, you auto-attack it, E, and then just kind of keep kiting back. Just make sure you don't cancel your auto-attack like I did right there, but... It shouldn't hurt me too much. Second off, I like to take my Q. Uh, helps you with your attack reset, does a little bit more damage, and it should be able to CC like the bigger um, camps. So what I do here is I'll auto, and then I like to just kind of finish off the little wolves first. And now I'm going to kite the big wolf over, just close to the blue side. Alright, there's that. One last auto. Cool. So I really is going really aggressive, uh, if you take note of my, uh, or take note of the minimap. And I see that she started her stun, which is already kind of making it a little bit harder for me to gank her, but I think I'm going to have to put some pressure there early, make her aware of my presence, but we'll see. I'm actually going to clear the scuttle crab right here, just so I have vision. Okay, Graves is right here, so I ping. I ward. Okay, I flashed trying to get that auto off on him, but that didn't happen. Oh well. So I'm gonna go back to the scuttle crab. Uh, Yasuo flashed, and I'm pretty sure Talon did ignite. Yeah, unfortunate, but we no one died there, so that's the important part. I really is. Hopefully, not having flash. I know she doesn't have mana. Okay, so she's dead. Oh, 
I should be able to outrun her. I did scuttle crab and I don't think she understands that, so we're ex So I'm saving my W. There it is. Nice job. Oh, Alright, so Yasuo's rotating up, so we don't want to face him. I don't think I can win a fight under him. So, maybe... No, he's got his shield, so we're actually going to back up out of this. Make sure you stay away from that minion wave. Um, we can probably bait him here. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I got baited by my own, own teammate. Well... Oh well, it happens. I thought it ignited earlier. Thought it was a little bit more calculated. Oh well. Life happens. So at this point, our Talon's pretty much getting free farm mid lane. Talon, or Yasuo got a got a kill on me and double boss. I should have left. Um, I should have left. That's that's the moral story. Just assume like everyone has sums until you can prove otherwise. I guess. Yas or Renekton almost died again. That's kind of disappointing. So I'm actually gonna go gank the Irelia again. She seems like she doesn't... Alright, so she's warding. Actually, I just saw her walk over here and ward. Which means that I really can't do anything here, except for like walk in through lane maybe. But we gotta see. I gotta get her to blow that stun first. Yeah, that's why she's annoying to gank. So this is still warded, unfortunately. So when I see that, like, they ward the river and I, like, walk this way. Oh, okay, so that's warded. I was actually going to show you, like, I like to flank around and go back through tribush, but that's not going to happen. So we're gonna, just going to go back to clearing. Again, just kind of, now I'm going to clear the little ones. Tell him, tell him I might be dead, yeah. I can't do anything. Even high rotated. So we're actually gonna hold this wave here. Graves is six? Interesting. So I have to acknowledge that he's six. He has ult. Alright, so he really whiffed that. Um, I got a flash out of that, so be it. Flash, ult, dark harvest stacks. What's he at right now? He's at 48 souls, so he's making good progress right now. This Talon, I don't think he knows what he's doing. Um, I don't usually see Talon's build team at anymore. That used to be like when he first came out kind of thing. So, it's kind of a red flag for me. In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, can't, don't rely on Talon right now, and... I gotta minimize minimize uh, casualties here. So, in other words, you have to get another lane fed and don't rely on him to carry. So, I'm probably gonna have to look towards bot lane. They're pretty much like winning lane right now. But, let's go actually hop over. We drop this pink ward here. They don't have vision on it, so I'm actually just gonna start this. If if their bot lane was rotating over, I'd be worried, but now I see Graves is there, so I'm definitely not worried about it. As long as my bot lane stalls them, we should be able to get this for free. Um, I should technically be doing this with Smite. I'm actually going to probably lose this. Okay, he's boosted. So I don't really have a choice here. I have to back. Oh. Or not. Okay, I should have lost that dragon, um, or I should have died or been forced to flash, regardless. He's dead. Oh wow. 
So, Rakan should have ignited that Thresh instead of the Jin. I don't know. It happens though. We basically forced the Jin to back, or the Thresh to back. Thresh can farm a little bit, but I'm worried that he was going to hit 6 and try to kill the Twitch. But thankfully, Twitch wasn't, you know, greedy and actually went back, so that's good. I don't have mana, otherwise I'd probably be looking to gank this guy. Graves is counter jungling me. So when you're playing um, Zin Zhao, you're pretty much looking to gank a lot and put pressure on the map. And this Graves is pretty much just free farming in the jungles right now. Um, so what I do is, when I'm getting counter jungle pretty hard, I will buy a pink ward and I'll place it in my jungle. Uh, he cleared my last pink there, so not much I can do. But, actually, so he just went back. I'm gonna have to assume that Graves just cleared his top side, so I'm actually gonna go do something a little bit greedier. I'm actually gonna rotate in, drop this here, and I'm gonna clear this so I have vision and I'm gonna go take that Krug. Or Gromp, sorry. I'm also gonna take get some like aggressive wards right here. Smite that from him. My gold. Thank you. What's he have? So I really don't want to fight this, especially since like they they'd be here first. We'll ward right here though. All right, I can't do anything about that. So this is why we take these first. Nice, Rakan, nice. So I'm saving E here. So I'm gonna follow up. Never mind, I'm not gonna follow up. I, I would have been able to E onto the Jin. Um I'm also gonna probably ping that Yasuo is still there. Yeah. Is Yasuo can Yasuo fight me is the question. I have to say yes, so we're gonna have to like kinda like back up a little bit, make sure that he doesn't land that on us, and we can actually E to these minions. Okay, so how he walked to that bush tells me that that's warded. Um, I really, uh, it's probably going to hit the, the scrying plant. We'll see right here. Or she's probably getting a, a ward right here. If she doesn't hit the scrying plant and it's still up, I have to assume that my jungle's warded right here and I'll have to clear it later. Um, so she did hit it, okay. So he's gonna try to fight. Oh yeah, bursted. Oh, I've misplayed that so hard. Mm. Whew. I took a lot of damage there. So that's two, that's... <laughs> that's 800 damage, I want to say this was just the last tick. So, stun, these are all auto attacks. I'm going to build Ninja Tabby this game. And I'm going to build the Phage. I don't know if necessarily I'm going to have the luxury to finish this Triforce, but I'm at least going to buy the the long sword. Worst case scenario is I turned it into tit uh, Titanic. And, um, get tanky that way because our Renekton's kind of squishy right now still and I need to be able to be a frontline for my team especially if this twitch keeps popping off like he is so I gotta go deal with this Yasuo right now I don't know if I can or what's what I'm gonna do here I have to assume that he has ignite and everything no he's it's down Okay, I just flashed that. Um, he had tornado and I wasn't risking it. So be it. He died. End of story. Bot. So since bot lane already got first tower, that's fine. I'm gonna go back and farm. Otherwise, I'd be pushing that tower pretty hard for first tower. Um, I'm actually gonna ping and tell tell him that I'm on my way.
Now I'm gonna help him shove. We're gonna get this tower. So when you play Zen Zhao and you're trying to push towers down, you always E to these minions. Get your extra attack speed and then just W through the waves. You can also use your Q on the tower if you didn't know that. Um, we'll be okay here, I think. Yeah. So just you, make sure you use your Q as an auto attack reset on these things. Once this is down, I'm actually going to help him shove it into the next tower so it crashes. But actually, I got to get bot lane because they're going to try to drag in here. Uh, Renekton should have pushed that in. I don't know what he's trying to do there, but... Alright, so I'm actually not going to get that. Get that in time. This is a bad fight. Yeah. That was such a bad fight. Ooh, nice flash bait. So what you can do here is you can actually... I might be dead. No? Trying to save people? No, we're good. Nice, actually. Turn that in. I used my ult there as a disengage, um, trying to save Renekton. I guess it worked. I don't know if he would have been dead if I didn't. It's kind of greedy of me. Um, I have to, we have to respect that this grave still has ult. And we're just going to keep dancing. Hmm. We don't really have a choice here. We just got to give tower. I'm, uh, I'm going to come here. Trying to do these. Because I still have smite. And I'm actually going to try to smite that blue buff. To get a um, little bit of health. And when you're low in the jungle, you can pretty much like just come back in here and just start clearing things. And your passive will keep you pretty much topped off. So instead of backing, I, I basically go to the jungle, get extra gold, and I have full health and mana. We're going to rotate behind this guy. He might back off. Yeah. So he's running towards his bot lane. Which means somebody's already there so that's pinked take note awesome so he lives awesome so we're acting good top so, Graves is dead again. He's running Dark Harvest, so we're, we're gonna be a little bit of, like, aggressive here. We're gonna push in here. Found a Jin. Okay. What do you have, Jin? Nothing? Okay, that's his flash. Alright, he didn't walk up. Sad days. And now he pops heal. That was a little greedy on Talon's part. I would've, um... I would've left him. So, I'd clear wolves if no one saw me. But I know Graves is up now, and I don't want to get caught in the jungle. So instead, I'm just going to walk away. I'm going to get this pink. And I'm going to go actually spend this gold that I'm sitting on. So, when I hit tab and I look at these scores, I see that I'm fed, Twitch is fed. Talon's doing it alright, I guess. Um, so I'm actually going to finish this Triforce. I'm going to wait the gold for the stinger. And from here, I'm gonna build, um, usually armor, uh, second, after Triforce. So, when you go to your armor phase, you basically have to take note of, are these guys gonna be attacking me really hard, or with a lot of attack speed? And when I see, you see Jin, you think, you have to think hard hitting, but not fast. When you see Yasuo, you have to think fast hitting. So, when you when your answer is fast hitting, so Yasuo, Irelia, even Graves is going to build a death stance at some point. So it'll still affect him. Um, basically, Thornmill's your best friend, especially like when you have Yasuo's that are going to build lifesteal at some point, and it's just not a good idea um, to let them just lifesteal for free. 
And that's why, like, I would say, like, if, you, if you're thinking that they're just gonna hit fast, you build Thornmail. Instead of, like, Dead Man's Plate. Or even, like, Randuin's is a good item, if you want to be a little bit more proactive. And you know that they're, you're, like, playing a tank. So that's my stance on it. They did Herald Top, which is good. We're gonna get that Inner Tower for it. Um, that'll crash into our wave, but... Okay, we're actually gonna disengage here. I'm gonna ult away. We gotta ping him back. So, Renekton's actually hitting bot, that's good. I thought I was gonna have to crash that. Their red buff just spawned. Um, but it's a little greedy for me. I don't have the quickest clear on it right now. And if they rotated to it, I pretty much would get caught and die. So, we still have vision on it. I'll know if it's gonna go down, but... Basically, like, right now, we just gotta play a little safer. And I'm still sitting on my, my warding totem because I have to take note that my support is not doing the greatest job providing vision. Um, it's really not a good sign when you are you have the most vision score as a jungler. Um, but, I mean, say la vie. So, just basically, I gotta keep my own vision if I'm trying to make my own picks. And I can't rely on everyone else's, so... Okay, he's dead. Saved, saved my E. Alright, nice. That was clean. So we're actually gonna get this. Dra Ocean Drake spawning in 8 seconds. Um, I'm actually gonna keep pushing. They're 4 dead. Yasuo's top lane, so we can get an inhib for free. Again, like earlier, like how I said... Oh, well... That's the game, pretty much, but... Yeah. You could Aether, minions, and you take tower. I'm surprised they surrendered. They might have had a chance. They had a Yasuo late game, but... Anyways, let's check the damage chart and, um... See how we compared to everyone else. I would say that the Twitch did a really good job that game. Made it so, uh... Yasuo didn't, like, totally destroy us, or even the Jin. Nothing is scarier than a fed Jin, I would say. Um... Damage dealt, I mean... A little bit surprising, I guess. It was only a 20 minute game, so being, you know, this uh, high up on the damage charts as a Jin or Zin Zhao is pretty, pretty impressive, but I mean, oh well. So anyways, guys, if you like this video, uh, leave a like down below, and if you want to see a different champion played, let it me know in the comments down below. Um, until then, catch you later.